Welcome back to the Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter. Anime Review Episode Number 4. This I'm viewing the 8th episode of the series. Yes, there's about 4 episodes left to go for this one. This one's called A Little Girl's Wish. Now, pick you up not long after the events of last week's episode, we have Noir walk into the forest looking for something for the receptionist stuff, basically it started last week, comes across a group of silver wolves. And they're at a really high level. I think it's like 156, I think it was. He's like, nah, I think I'll pass these by. And he's walking for a bit, and he comes by a little girl. Who turns out she's a triad. Yep. And it is pointed out, though, by him, and it pointed out to her that she is a spinning image of Emma when she was her age. Yeah. She seriously is. We have a flashback of her as a child of how she got the hairpin that she has in her hair where Noir gave it to her as a birthday present. Yes, gave it to her as a birthday present because he says it matches her eyes, which she loved it. Mm-hmm. Yep, and the dryad explains that she's dying because a monster is attacking her. What monster is it? A golden bee. A level 230, uh, 236. Like, damn, that's pretty high. He mentions currently he's a level 66. Interesting, to say the least. I'm sure by the end of this, his level probably went up dramatically. Especially since he pretty much helped downplay a, a very high level monster. So, and we all see what the thing is doing. It's sting its stinger inside the tree itself and sucking out the mana. Why in the world it's doing this? Never explicitly explained. Apparently it was making some kind of high for some reason. So it was like, no, nah, okay. So I'll go so I'll visit his master, Olivia. So basically they come with a very interesting plan. Of course, he's like very happy with the fact he come and see her. Even though that it has probably not been that long. I'd say it's been like maybe barely a day since they last saw each other. So, basically, he works with Dory, because he suggests he call her Dory. So, basically, he tricks, he sees, basically, what the Golden Bee is, and he tricks the wolves. Basically, the wolves are a similar trick he did with the dragon a few episodes back. He tricks the wolves to attack in the bee, which they do, in fact, weaken the bee, and, of course, all the wolves were killed in the attack. Though, the thing is, he thought the bee was still at his nest. He did not know at the very moment that it would be attacking Dory in her tree form. So, thanks to the attack by the wolves, he takes a combined attack on the bee, using a combined water and lightning attack. Though he tried using a sword, that didn't really work out at all because kept, the, the bee kept dodging. So, able to kill it. Yep. And, of course, Dory made an arrangement basically. is like, be this monster, I'll give you some treasure. Okay. So... Pulls out these two things from the treasure chest that look pretty empty. One of these things, basically a pearl that's equivalent to wind magic, probably present for Emma. And, of course, a special trinket, probably for Lola. And apparently it's gray is triple A, which means it's worth a lot. In the case of not really much worth a lot, so... Susie finishes up there. He basically goes by the door. He says, will be back soon. Bring some tasty food. And then he goes to visit, gives the thing to Lola. Of course, Lola trades in for money. And then we have the ranking ceremony of the receptionist. Everybody counts their coins. And it looks like, though, that Sarah's guy looked like he won. Because it looked like everybody's, like, out. And, of course, it looks like he's about to pull out. And they pull out the his guy, her guy, it pulls out nothing for the last one. And he pulls out a coin. And, of course, Sarah accuses, accuses Lola of cheating. No proof it. And, well, Lola wins. And basically, and of course, Noir tells her, it's okay to come second. And then she, she's like, apparently smiles at that, so she gives him a piece of paper. Directions to her house. I'm not kidding about that. Apparently, she really wants to sleep with him. <laughs> and of course, Lola Cenas basically takes out a, a spike club to try to whack her with it, which I thought was quite hilarious. I'm like, where the heck she get this damn thing? And, oh yeah, and also Emma, who's in present day. You see her for a brief cameo a couple times, and she doesn't say anything. Same thing with Luna. Nothing. Great to see these two. Quick cameo. 
that's simply it. This episode kind of in the light wraps something to start for the last episode with the whole thing reception battle. Excuse me. Next week's episode is going to be about Gala. Interesting to say the least. Now, if you're curious to what chapters of the manga for the Hidden Angel Angel discovers, chapters 19 and 22. Yeah, mostly, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's pretty much what it covers. Though, episode 9 covers a lot more than that. Yeah, 9 covers like 23, 26, 33. Yep, so. Yeah, definitely a good episode. I am thoroughly enjoying this series. I thoroughly am. It's a great series. Though I probably will review when the final episode. I'll probably right now. Is there enough material during the season? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, there's only officially about six books released. And from what I can tell so far, it looks like they're having just one book this season. The book itself is not very long. No, it's like only about 233 pages. And from what I can tell, it looks like it drew a lot from the actual book itself. So, I presume by the end of the season, they're probably going to be starting to have book two. It's simply possible. And in the case of basically what they're going to have from if there's season two, they're probably, they're probably do like one book per season. Yeah, basically one book covering 12 episodes. Who knows? It just depends on what the season wants to go. But, but right now, there's not technically enough chapters in the manga to do their season. Probably gonna wait a bit before the season is over with. Well, the season over, well, well, it actually ended like a month ago. They're probably gonna wait a little while before doing their season. That's probably what gonna do. Yep. So yeah, that's it for the review. Stay tuned for my reviews for my next one is going to be Case Close. Yep, that one next, and then My Hero Academia, and then finally Yoshima Princess Half Demon. But that'll be up soon because because basically. I'm way a bit, and then put this video plus the previous two, then record case closed. Okay, to this video. Bye.